Good morning! So we're leaving uh, Riverside, what is it called? Riverside. Riverside RV Park, RV Park in uh, Little Rock. And I gotta tell you, I really loved it. I really loved it here. I liked it because, uh, well, okay, the spaces were tight, yes, and I don't like that. Also because they're all big rigs, and so they're so much higher than us, so we have two big rigs on the side and they can both look in on us from height, so we hate that. But um, the location, you can't beat it. No. It's right by the trail. It's right by some of downtown, Little Rock, and it's, it's got some really beautiful sights by the river, and, and you can see the city, and, and you can just walk. That's, that's awesome. And also with Passport America, we didn't have to spend very much no. at all. Uh, it's just three days, I think. You can stay, right, Passport America? Uh, I think you can stay here too, I'm not sure. And, um, yeah, we extended one stick for days. I love it. <laughs> so anyway, now we're gonna continue. We're gonna press towards uh, Hornwald. So the good news is our hitch is fixed. Oh yeah, the hitch is fixed. Yeah, Doesn't make any more noise. George did it. it. Yeah. George did it. Good morning. No, we, uh, I look like a mess. Um, we spent another night here. <sighs> this, uh, this is our go-to place <laughs> when uh, we don't have any other alternative. So it was uh, it was a little noisy because we had uh, like 13 trucks parked right in front of us, and they had refrigeration. So everybody had the. It was like being at a Lowe's, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, even though we've never been there. So it was a little noisy, but it was okay. It, it didn't really bother us. Uh, I, I have problems sleeping anyhow, <laughs> with or without the trucks. So, yeah, now I really have trouble sleeping. Uh, so we're gonna press on towards a home wall. Right, George? Yep. And um, I don't know, we're not sure exactly where we're going to stop tonight. We're probably going to stop at another Walmart, I don't know. Um, yeah, because we have a long drive and um, we don't want to go and check into a campground if it's late. And we have to pay maybe $30, $40 just to sleep. That makes no sense. So we'll see. It's a pretty nice day, it's very windy, very windy. But at least the sun shining. Tonight is, rain is expected. Tennessee. Memphis. Memphis, yes. We make these memories for ourselves.
Mr. Slime Georgia. <laughs> but with the uh, less, uh, yeah, pine trees. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, this is better actually. This is definitely better. Hey guys, we are a beach band. <laughs> yeah, and we have a rooster. Beach <laughs> band campground in Decaturville, Tennessee. Exactly. And sadly, because it's very nice, look at this. There's a little lake here in the front. It's very nice and reasonable. It's only water and electric, and there's a dump. But uh, for some reason, <clears throat> they've suspended paying the people that were taking care of the park. I don't. They they, they just don't want to pay somebody, I guess anymore. And uh, all the garbage is full. Nobody's emptying anything. But the saddest thing of all is this. Why? Why? Why do people do this? License plates. Don't touch any of this shit. Don't touch plastic, foam, uh, animals, and um, there's underneath this, there's uh, insulation. I mean, why do something like this? Right now, nobody's here to clean it. We wanted to use the fire pit, but how can we use the fire pit? People burn plastic and cans and all kinds of stuff that they shouldn't be burning in the pits. Come on. It's only wood and paper, people. Come and on. this came from an RV. Someone had water damage, something. They were out here because over on the other side of the trailer there's another big pile of it with some uh you can see some of the insulation yeah exactly i was saying that so it, okay we can't stay here with this rooster it's gonna go on all night no you'll go to in sleep the morning the you'll get us up when it's time to go oh my god there's somebody here with a rooster guys and of course we're right next hey do you have to be right by our trailer can you go somewhere else please <laughs> yeah right i mean i love you and everything but do you really have to sing right here go on go on come on yes go on go sing somewhere else <laughs> Jeez. So anyway, that's that's my little rant. Don't be this kind of pig, please. Don't do that. We're gonna try and clean it out, but the thing is, we can't throw anything because nobody's emptying the garbage. So we can't leave it here, even if we clean it up. And you can tell that we don't have very much space to put the stuff in because we're full. Every one of the uh, every one of the trash cans in this facility are backed up. They haven't collected trash here in three weeks. Three weeks. So we will not dispose of anything here. We'll just carry it to our our next spot. Uh, come on. Yeah. Okay. End of rant. <laughs> oh, and guess what? We're not allowed to be drinking al alcoholic adult beverages in this park. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey guys, tell you the truth, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a little um, worried about the rooster. <laughs> Look, I'm a country girl and a city girl, meaning that I was born in the country 
and I lived in the country until I was like 13. And I'm very familiar with roosters. <laughs> And I know that they can be very loud and very insistent too. And this one particularly likes to go under our trailer. It's gonna be our buddy at old dark 30 tomorrow. <laughs> right beside it, you know. In the back where we sleep, right there. He likes to hang out there. And just how do you say crow is hard out? The rooster crows, is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what he likes to do. Aren't we lucky? We're right next to it. It's okay. So George says that it's a new experience. Yeah, it'll be a new camping experience. Right. For sleep deprived me, it's gonna be a joy. <laughs> I did contact the city officials pertaining this uh, campsite. Yeah. But Needless to say, I'm very disappointed in how politics works and how the city mayor stated that this isn't his deal. And so basically it falls on the county. The county basically said, well, maybe you, you know, should deal with the city. So it's the same thing throughout the whole country. It's the dumping game. The dumping game. It's sickening to the core. Yeah. But... We cleaned out the fire pit a little bit and uh, I built it up with the rocks. I took out all the plastic and the uh, fishing line and all the crap that was in there. Those things we cannot burn. Somebody took apart their RV there. I don't know. Idiots. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. But we're going to have a fire in a little bit. And then we have some garbage there that we're going to take with us. I, I couldn't put the wood because I don't have a big uh, garbage bag. Uh, that's the biggest one I have. <laughs> but this is this would be a real nice spot. I hope uh, they get it together and take care of this place because it's really nice. They need some serious tree work done ar around the whole park. They need to limb some trees up and cut back the limbs on the road. I would not bring a, a tall... Big. Uh, a large size rig in here because you will be scraping your AC units from these branches. Mm -hmm.